Hi, I'm Dr. David Ward and I'm very excited to have the opportunity to present at the Illinois Association for Marriage and Family Therapy Conference this year on the power of hope to affect change. You know, my interest in hope began when I started to compare sessions of therapy where I walked out feeling excited and invigorated about the work that I was doing as a therapist. Uh, versus those sessions where I left wondering whether I was being helpful at all and feeling down. And as I mentally compared those two scenarios, what I began to realize was that the difference was hope. Uh, there was a sense of hope, both for the client and for myself, that the outcomes that they were desiring in their life could actually happen. And so I began to look into the literature on hope. I began to study hope and try to understand how I might be able to make these experiences where both uh, the clients and myself left feeling more hopeful. And as I got into the literature, uh, I found many, many authors that talked about hope and its importance, but very little about strategies, specific strategies that a therapist could use to uh, create hope within the therapy room. And so, uh, I began to study more and began to uh, talk to other therapists and research uh, this concept of hope. And so I'm excited uh, at this conference to be able to share some of my ideas and things that I have learned from other experts in the field about hope. One of the, the first goals that I'll have in this presentation is to define hope and to describe its foundational properties. For as we understand the foundations of hope, then specific strategies to increase hope within therapy begin to emerge. And so that's a second thing that, uh, that participants will get uh, from this presentation, are some specific strategies for increasing hope within uh, the context of in individual, couple, or family therapy. As therapists, we all have a relationship with hope ourselves. And one of the things we need to monitor for ourselves is that relationship with hope and recognize when maybe we're not feeling as hopeful about a particular case or about the, our work in general. And, um, and so I want to have a discussion about and again provide some specific strategies uh, that can help therapists as they may find themselves feeling a little less hopeful about the work that they're doing. We all come into this work uh, with a desire to help others change and I want to reinforce that, uh, that belief uh, throughout the day. And so I think participants will leave with, with a sense of rejuvenation uh, for the work that they're doing as therapists, but also uh, some hope uh, in their own lives for goals and dreams that, uh, that uh, they might have. And so uh, I look forward uh, to sharing these stories. I look forward to interacting with participants and having the opportunity to share uh, my thoughts and ideas on the power of hope to affect change.